Hey there, Robert Moody with Marine Max at the Dallas Yacht Center on Lake Louisville. Today I want to show you a 2012 Chaparral uh, 290 Signature Cruiser. Just got this boat in on trade. It's a one owner uh, fresh, freshwater boat. Uh, been here at Lake Louisville its whole life. Let's do a quick little walkthrough. Back here it does have the extended swim platform. Uh, it's got a grill that you can mount back here on the swim platform, a gas grill. It's kind of cool. Back here you got a storage locker. Remote control for the stereo cells on the back. So when you're back here swimming, you got a control for the stereos. Nice. We'll step here into the uh, cockpit, which has good seating. You got face-to-face -face seating on here. Uh, a nice big uh, cockpit table with a nice inlay of uh, granite. Looks nice. Um, then you got a carry-on cooler, easy access when it's stored. You got a little shower here on the side too. Um, this boat also does have camper canvas, don't have it on right now, but you do get the extended shade, so you get a lot of shade in the summertime. The wintertime you can put up all the ice and glass and close it up for those uh, cool days. Another neat thing about this boat is you can hide this back seat into the transom. So if you're fishing, cruising, you want to put your monster cooler back here, that whole tra transom seat disappears. So that's pretty nice. Um, up here forward at the helm, we do have a double seats, uh, both a companion seat and also at the helm is a double seat. And they do have the flip up bolsters on it. It does have a Raymarine GPS, a color screen. It also has a transducer on it for a fish finder too. Um, this does have twin V6 Volvo Penta engines, 225 horsepower each with 130 hours on the engines. He's got a little stereo upgrade with light rings. Makes it nice if you want to cruise around at night. But a really good looking dash. It's nice and clean. There's no cracks in any of the panels or the dash. Uh, again, one owner boat. It's been in a covered slip on fresh water its whole life. Uh, really nice clean boat. To get up to the bow, they do have, you're gonna walk through the opening windshield. It does have a bow pad on the front. So if you want to lay out, it does come with the bow pad. We'll step down into the cabin and take a look down below. Nice dinette here. This table can drop down. A cushion go on top of it and make this into a third sleeping area. But the main bed in the boat, uh, you have a open the bow uh, with a sunroof right there if you want to get some natural light in here. Uh, a really nice galley, refrigerator, the electric um, stove, sink, and also that TV can pull out and swivel. So if you're in bed, you can swivel it out and they can watch it while they're in bed. You can watch it more here um, at the dinette. And it does have a uh, mid-berth um, in the mid-cabin back here. And there's another TV back there, too. Um, very nice clean. It's got a fiberglass liner inside the Chaparral Cruiser, so a nice wood inlay floor. It's easy to keep clean. So when you got kids and family and they're in and out, in and out, it's easy just to wipe it up and vacuum it out and keep it clean. Head compartment's nice, a nice wet head, a one-piece fiberglass capsule. Keeps everything nice and clean. Take a shower in here. Good looking head. The mid cabin is supposed pretty nice. It does have a TV down there um, with the DVD player on it. But there is a lot of headroom, so as you're working your way in and out of this mid cabin, a lot of them you have to crawl into. This one has a lot of good height uh, and a big headrest on it, too, if you want to sit up and read a book uh, in the evening before you go to bed. I really like the uh, entrance in and out of here. If you have any questions about this boat or any of our new or used boats here at the Dallas Yacht Center, please give us a call. Robert Moody with Marine Max. Thank you.